All right, so I'm out here on a rockfish open air, open air day or opening day, uh, Central Coast, and wow, that's a good number of people already. <laughs> uh, my buddy is still uh, on his way. He'll be here in like 20 minutes, and there's maybe about like 10 other kayakers here. And the water is deep. It's gonna take a long time for it to reach the bottom. <laughs> Hopefully, I got enough line. I think I lost some line at uh, Half Moon Bay and somewhere else. And hopefully the line reaches the bottom because that is deep. Very deep. Woo, getting close to the... Uh, oh, there you go. Hit bottom. Wow, that's deep. Fish? I don't even know. Or was I snag? It's so deep. I don't know if I'm like fish on or snag because something tick off. Oh, for real? Yeah. If I get snagged, it's going to suck because, uh, I'm pretty close to the end of my line. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah, I, I forgot I lost some line at the last uh, few trips. Yeah, I bought like 150 yards for a leader line. So, worst comes to worst, I use the leader if it does snag. It's that, man, this, I, this is deep. Yeah. Is there a whale? Oh, I got. Oh, I lost it. Oh, you were on? Yeah, something bit. Oh. oh, that sucks. I didn't hook it up right. Just lost it, whatever is on it. Small fish or something? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe the mouth is too small. Huh? So this whole uh, deep water fishing ain't no joke, man. Whew, that water is deep. It took forever to get down. Not good for trolling, too. I'm trying to do a halibut rig and. I don't know if I have enough line either. <laughs> barely, barely enough, but if I throw any faster, I have to let out more line. It ain't gonna work. So there's like, there's like three wells. One up there, one over there, and one behind you. And they're just like, 
popping up and down, which is cool. Amazing. Wow, they're like super close. Oh, shoot. They're cool. I've been waiting for them to come over. <laughs> So we got two whales coming our way. Ugh, jellyfish. Gross. I don't even know. It's so deep. I feel a tug and then it's not pulling. Nah, probably. Uh, yeah. Some, but something's still there. Halibut? What? Is it a halibut or is that a. It's a sand dab. Sand dab, right? They're like super tiny. Yeah, that makes you a bigger, sure. My mouth is too small to be a halibut. Uh, it's kind of round to be a halibut. I don't know, see what you think before I, I keep it or release it. If it's a sand dab, I'll keep it. I can't tell the difference up here. I'm, I'm assuming, I think that's a sand dab. It's so tiny. Yeah. Could be a sand dab. But I don't know the difference between the two. <laughs> well, it doesn't have any teeth, so I think it might be. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some research. Sand dab versus halibut. <sighs> While well, that guy hanging on the side of the water. Ay, ay, ay. Never caught a sand dab before. sand dab or a halibut I don't know I really can't tell it looks like a super flat if it is a halibut it doesn't have teeth like a halibut either though Hey, this sucks. I still don't know what it is. Yeah. I did some research. Yeah. I'm looking at the information and it says sand dab, eyes are to the left, halibut's eyes are to the right. I'm like, what? I'm like, what if you hold the fish differently? <laughs> so I'm figuring if you look at a fish with the stomach down, maybe the eye to the left, it's a sand dab. And if they're facing to the right, then it's a halibut. But they look so similar that I'm like, dude, I don't know. So this is one of the reasons why I don't like fishing deepest because you got to work out a lot more just to pull up a fish and then you need more weight to drop it down faster and but if you put more weight then you actually had to work out more to pull it up and you don't really get to feel the the fight of the fish because after a certain amount of feet the air bladder pops up the eyeball pops up and then the fish just pretty much like a 
a dead piece of log or a dead piece of wood and you're just monstering it up because it, it's no longer fighting. And when you do pull it up, uh, like today, I didn't bring anything to drop the fish back down deep so everything go back in because uh, I figured we're going to be fishing somewhere in the middle, maybe about 60 to 100 feet, but uh, wow. this was deep, Canary. deep. So um, the mortality rate will go down or decrease by a lot like this guy. Um, I don't have anything to drop it back down, so pretty much it's a keeper. Usually I, I'll release the canary or release uh, the smaller fish. But since you're in the deep, uh, yeah, without the right gear, you're pretty much just killing the fish. So I pretty much just had to take it home or else if I threw it back, it'd just be a floating fish. And any fish that is floating, dead, or used as bait is counting towards your limit. So make sure you keep the one that does die or float and just eat them so you don't waste the fish that you do catch. On this trip, I actually kind of miss, uh, or especially for in the deep, I actually kind of miss my uh, older reels, those big old ugly monster where they're a lot easier to spin and muscle it up. And plus, the, the line capacity is so much more. I could put over 300 yards in those big old spool. But with this one, nah, not a lot of spools. So I got to be careful with my line, my snag, and hopefully I don't break off. Is there? Yeah. Oh, big old well, dude. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, that well was close. Yeah, that's what like 70 feet. 60, 70 feet from here. The big well. <laughs> huh? That's a big well. Yeah. Out of nowhere, like just surprising. There it goes again. Oh, there's two. Down, well. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be tight the well just did like a run a circle. Huh? Be tight the well just did like a circle. Pulled out my camera and it's gone. <laughs> I did that earlier too. When it was like right next to you? I'm like, all right, you know, oh, great. You don't want to pop up anymore now, huh? Little rockfish. Oh, I can still swim. I'll let you go. You can still survive. Sweet. Back into the deep. Yep. Something interesting happened. <laughs> I got snagged, so I started pulling the rod, yanking it, and then I let go some line. I went back around, tried to pull it the other side, and I yanked it kind of hard. And it wasn't that hard, and the rod snapped right at the tip. One, two, three, underneath the four, five. Wow. You can see the carbon fiber though. I mean, but I'm just surprised it actually snapped. And as soon as I snapped, the the weight came off. 
And I got my rig back, so. Wow, that sucks. Man, oh man. Chip knots on tape too. Tape this shit on. <laughs> well, that sucks. That blows. Oh, I guess I'm gonna turn to a smaller fishing rod now. <laughs> I already ordered another one. This is the one that fell at uh, Half Moon Bay, but I didn't think it would break though. Oh, that sucks. That sucks big time. See, like, it's strong. I can't even break it. I don't know how that broke. Maybe a weak spot? Because everything else being strong. I got tape. Oh, there's tape. Yeah, we got there. You know, it's a third wheel hill. I'll tape it and make it work. But I don't have tape on me. So. So what happens when you don't want to lose your line because you're in too deep and you don't want to break your rod and one of them's going to go so I was hoping the line but nope the rod so time to put the rod tip in the back so I don't trash the ocean and then retie Fishing with the broken rod. <laughs> Fishing with the broken rod. <laughs> uh, yeah. I hate deep water. If you're shallow, just cut the line. It's too much line to cut over here in the deep. If I cut my line over here, it's game over. It'll be like, that's it for the trip. I have to go in shallow. But. Oh well. It feels so weird just fishing on a hard ass stick. Oh my broken rod. <laughs> so, oh my broken rod. I snapped the rod when we uh, split up over there. Yeah, I got snagged. No, it's all good. It's still working. Still catching fish. Yeah, I got snagged. I started pulling all of a sudden like... Oh, crap. Carbon fiber rod. Snap. But it's still doing this job. Uh, yeah, I was getting too hard to fish in the deep with the broken rod, so I'm like, uh, I'm gonna come in the shallow. I was getting more active when I was like deeper than 170. Yeah. Yeah. And I would have stayed over there, but I wanted to go a little more shallow just to see where the, if there were links. And I, I limited out. You limited? Probably at 25, the last one probably 25 or something. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Not big, but I was hoping. I thought it would be bigger out there, but... Yeah. Right above that little, like, kelp thingy down the bottom. Yeah. 
Uh, little fish. Tiny, tiny. Let you go. Yeah. <laughs> it might be the same one. <laughs> So I'm a big fan of fishing shallow just because you're using lighter gear, lighter weight, lighter everything and the fish they tend to survive a lot more if you catch a small one or you just want to release one or maybe it's a, the species that you don't want or it's a closed species during the season or whatever it is you're not going to kill it and plus you just get to feel the, the fish fight a whole lot more a whole lot better and plus you give the fish a chance to actually escape from your hook, so uh, the the fight is a lot better because uh, after pulling it up like a uh, 40, 50, 60 feet in the deep, the the fish is just pretty much a dead log, like I said earlier. So the you you tend to have more fun with lighter gear, lighter everything, and like I said, if you don't like the fish, you don't want the fish. You you give the fish a chance to survive, and then to bring more gears and try to drop it back down, and hopefully uh. It survives, and if it doesn't, there goes your bag limit. And if fishing game catches you, and you drop a fish or whatever, and you still have your limit, you're going to get in trouble. Well, guys, that's it. Pretty good day to, pretty good way to start the, the season. Caught some fish, uh, broke a rod, and nice calm flat day. Uh, very little wind and it was great and my buddy caught some fish that he's been wanting to eat some fish so all in all it's, uh, it's a great day <laughs> my rod on the other hand i'm gonna have to use my ugly stick and probably use the, the new new one that looks just like that one too so other than that um gonna head back to shore